So hello and good evening, this is Ruth Pozuelo from Curva.com and uh, I thought that we would spend this Saturday answering Power BI most frequent asked questions. I will be reading them from here. So um, hopefully that will answer most of your questions. If you still have questions after this Q&A, make sure you ask me new questions in the comment box and we will do this video again answering those, okay? So these are the ones that are most frequently asked. So the first one is, what is Power BI? Okay, and Microsoft says Power BI is a cloud-based business analytics service. And for me, Power BI is actually a lot of things. And of course it is for Microsoft too. I, I think that just put it in buckets. We normally say Power BI for, or I normally say Power BI for everything, both for the service and from the desktop. So I thought that we can clear that question out. Power BI is a lot of things. So there's a lot of things living in the same umbrella, but they have different names even though we still call everything Power BI. So Power BI is both a, a, a program that you can install on your computer that is completely free. You can go to powerbi.com, download it, and then you can use it for free. It costs nothing. Then you have Power BI service, which is what Microsoft was answering in here. and. With that, what you can do is when you finish your Power BI report, you can publish it to the web so you can share it with others and do all the cool stuff. So that is PowerBI.com. Then you have Power BI apps. I think we talked too little about Power BI apps. I think they are absolutely amazing. The Microsoft team is doing a great, great job on those apps. And with the Microsoft the Power BI apps are, are basically you can view your report in a free app you can download from the both the App Store in uh, Apple environment you can have it from Google Play and also of course from Microsoft Store so with Power BI apps you download them for free and then you can view the reports that you've published to the service to powerbi.com okay and then there's another side of Power BI, and this mostly for developers. So that's, there is where you can actually do all kinds of cool things, like embed Power BI reports into your applications or apps. You have the possibility to create custom visuals. You have the REST APIs. You have uh, custom connectors nowadays. So there is more for the developers to actually build around Power BI ecosystem. But Power BI is you know, in that small term, there's a lot of things. So make sure you you ask which Power BI do you mean, so you understand that you're talking about the same thing. So next question: uh, What is the difference between Power BI and Power BI Pro? Um, Power BI and Power BI Pro are two licensing types that you will find in the Power BI service, you know, the one that is online, on the cloud. And I have actually a video about the Power BI licensing model, so I will post a link so you can actually go there and check it out, because I not only talk about Power BI Free and Pro, I also talk about the newly released Power BI Premium. and I spend like 20 minutes talking about it so just make sure you check it out if you have questions around it next question how much does power bi cost this is a tricky one of course so which power bi if we start there power bi desktop the program that you install on your computer is free completely free you, you download it and it's yours PowerBI.com, that's where you have the licensing models we just talked about. You have a Power BI Free, Power BI Pro, and nowadays you have Power BI Premium. Power BI Free, free? Power BI Pro, $10 per user per month. Power BI Premium, it depends on capacity. So you have to go to the pricing calculator to see how much it will cost you, okay? But it's basically made for enterprises, so if you're a big company, that's the one that you should look at. So unfortunately, it depends. 
The Power BI, by the way, the apps are also free. So just good to mention it anyhow. What do I need to use Power BI? Well, it depends again what kind of user you are. So if you're an analyst and you want to create reports, you need Power BI desktop. So you need a computer, you download the program and then you can run it. Um, it is recommended to have a 64-bit computer because otherwise if your model, if you have a lot of data, it, it will become heavy. So there are actually, when you download the software, it will tell you the requirements for your computer. You can work on 32. I've done it and it's possible, but if you have a 64, it's much, much better. Um, so that is what you need if you're an analyst. Now, if you're just a business user that wants to read reports and you will do that in the cloud, then the only thing you need to do is, is to have a web browser and an email account. Now, the email account, it has to be work account or educational account. So you cannot use the Gmail or Hotmail or Yahoo or you know, all those free services. Um, why? Yes, I don't know if this is true, but I am guessing that you know, every time you user signs up for a Power BI, they're giving you capacity in the, in, the, in the service and of course at first you sign as a free user but I guess there is a hope that you will actually be a customer <laughs> later on the road when you grow and your company or you know your company accepts to buy licenses so if everybody would do it for free it would be too much cost for Microsoft I am just guessing but uh, I, it just makes a little bit of sense that they will not allow everybody to to create a Power BI account on the cloud, okay? Uh, is there any government, academic or and non-profit pricing available for Power BI? And yes, there is. You have to go to the Microsoft product donation site. I will post a link on the description box and there you can see what pricing is available just for you, if you are one of those groups. Is Power BI available on-premise? Yes, it is. It's been recently released. I think the Power BI report server is called, is now generally available. I think so. Um, I will check it out, but I'm pretty sure that it is. And Power BI Premium it became generally available now after the summit. So it is great. You can actually if you don't know what on-premise is, it basically means that you can publish your reports to share with others in your own intranet. You need to publish it to the web, like to the cloud, where there is perhaps a, a bigger security risk for your data. So yes, it is available. Uh, just check Power BI report server and uh, you will be able to, uh, I think it's a, you can download it now, it's just up and running. Does Power BI support mobile devices? Yes, they do. Apple, Google and uh, Windows Store. So um, just go there, download the apps. The apps are really, really good. You have uh, um, you know, Q&A in those, you, you can speak to say, okay, give me the, I don't know, revenue for my company in March 2017. It's, it's fantastic. They've done a great job. So just make sure you check them out if you haven't yet. What data sources can I connect to? Um, this is a bit difficult question. Um, and again, it depends. So if you download Power BI Desktop, you have a hundreds of sources already made for you. So you just go there and connect to those. If you have a Power BI um, .com, like the, the cloud service account, you have other connectors there. They're not the same, but you know some of them are, some other, some of them are not, and. Uh, this was released two weeks ago, something like that, three weeks ago, where Microsoft opened up the possibility for us to make custom connectors, data connectors. So that is absolutely fantastic. And I'm sure we're going to see an explosion of connectors everywhere. But that means that 
we are not limited to the connectors that Microsoft is developing and maintaining for us. We can have our own. So if we were a bit limited before, we are not anymore. So make sure you check them out. If you're curious, just, just download Power BI Desktop and check, or just go to powerbi.com and see which connectors are already available. And then, of course, you have the possibility to connect to web where you need a, you have a web connector, but you need to you know, configure it a little bit, but then you can connect to any website that has the right structure. Now, what browsers does Power BI support? And the easy answer, I guess, is all modern browsers will support it. So unless you are in a very, very old uh, browser, you will have an issue. So it should not be an issue. I've never had any issue with any of the browsers I've used, and there are a few. What regions and languages does Power BI support? And uh, there is actually a list um, in the documentation of how many languages Power BI support. There are many. Uh, so check it out. And of course, the most common languages are there, like English, you know, Spanish, Chinese, Hindu, and yeah. Okay, so we have time for one last question. And I think that we will take, how do I get started with Power BI? And there are a lot of resources online on how to get started, okay? So you have Microsoft EDX course, you can take that. I think it's free, I'm not sure. Uh, very, very useful. You have Microsoft Power BI YouTube channel, they have, uh, all kinds of resources there for small how to do things to you know these big submit presentations they have uh, great content make sure you subscribe to their YouTube channel you have of course channels like mine you can subscribe of course no but seriously there are other content creators on YouTube that are doing Power BI that you should definitely check out um, Microsoft employees have also YouTube channels worth checking out. We have Charles Stellin, he has a very good um, um, YouTube channel where he actually records webinars that he, ha he do with uh, different um, professionals. I think they are absolutely great. Uh, I can post a link to his YouTube channel. You have Adam Saxton, he is fantastic. I think the, he and Patrick are great presenters, so it makes the the content uh, very enjoyable. Uh, you have, you know, blogs. Uh, there are tons and tons of professionals that are blogging about Power BI. You have the Power BI community. Make sure you become a member because there you have tons of professionals that will help you with all kinds of questions. And also you can start publishing your own uh, articles there if you want. So make sure you check those out. Then if you are like me, practice, practice, practice. I learned Power BI by doing basically. I love the tool and I love the possibilities of what could be done and just, uh, you know, spend hours working with it and uh, learn that way. But uh, if you are not like me and you prefer, for example, reading. There are a lot of books, a lot of them written by Microsoft MVPs, really good books. So just go to Amazon and you will be able to see what books are available there and, uh, you know, just buy them if that is the way you prefer uh, learning. There, I have been asked if there is any book in Spanish. I don't know any but if you know just uh, let me know in the comment box and i will talk about it next time so yeah you see you have youtube you have blogs you have uh, online courses you know books so there's no <laughs> excuse for you not to learn and by doing it you will learn i, I assure you that so yeah i think this is all for today um this is what I'm thinking. If I've missed a question that is important to you and you haven't been answered, so let me know on the comment box and I will create a video. I think I need to collect at least like 10 questions in order to make a new video about this. But if you do have questions, do let me know and I will try to answer them as 
best as I can. So I hope you really enjoyed this video. Continue your Saturday having fun. I will do the same too. And uh, I'll see you very soon. Have a great weekend. Bye.